I had originally set out to answer the question, does art have to be pretty to be good? Short answer, no, it doesn't. Art in general doesn't have to be pretty at all, it just has to be honest. But what does honesty look like? If we're honest with our emotions, how would they show up in, on paper? How would you choose to render them in your composition? We're capable of experiencing a broad spectrum of emotions, but not all of them are pleasant. With this piece, I wanted to play with the preconceived assumption people can make based on their first glance at something. Usually when you think of horns, the image of something evil might pop in your head. Something that doesn't feel safe. It could also be a goat or a ram, but within the context of shadows, I'm willing to bet it is the former rather than the latter. Something unsettling. Darkness itself tends to be associated with things that aren't good or something to avoid. But darkness is not inherently bad. It's what your mind populates it with that can create terror. Something inside of you makes you feel uneasy when you think of the dark. These thoughts may stem from past experiences, but even then, it is your mind that brings those thoughts forward. A veil of darkness is ripe for the imagination to play tricks on you. Not everything that glimmers is gold, and so too not everything that lurks in the shadows is evil. There is suffering and pain, beauty and grace, all within the realm of darkness. This character I created has horns on her head because I wanted to make her first impression be a bit unnerving to look at. I wanted to make you feel uncomfortable with the way she looks. If you couldn't bear looking at her for too long, then you would walk away from this piece thinking that it was something to do with evil or demonic in nature. However, if you were to linger longer on the composition, you might be able to tell a new story about her. Her eyes are not those filled with anger or mischief, but rather they have an air of suffering or of sadness. Below her you see a full body version of her mounted on a horned horse, again trying to make you feel like you might be looking at something sort of demonic. The horse is standing on a liquid surface and in that liquid there's something floating. What is that floating? Why is she holding a spear looking down at it? Did she kill someone? The intention of this piece is to try to and provoke a sense of dread. I wanted to have a visceral effect on you when you look at it. I want to challenge your preconceived assumptions. Art doesn't have to be beautiful nor does it have to always make you happy. Art just has to make you feel something. It's supposed to tell a story and be honest with this message. I like to compose my work as if I were writing a song. When you listen to a song, you can sometimes relate to the lyrics and think, hey, that's me, I've felt the same way too. The song isn't specifically about you, but you recognize the sentiment behind it. The emotions within its melody is something that you feel familiar, it's something that you recognize. That's what I do with my work. I tell a story and display emotions that you might be able to relate to. Maybe you felt the anguish you see in her eyes. A sad song doesn't always have to be a ballad. M heavy metal can also have lyrics filled with emotions. My work is like that. It's not always pretty, but it's more like the heavy metal track that makes you recognize your sadness. Not all of it, of course. Sometimes I do make more jovial looking pieces. I don't always portray sadness, but I do imbue my work with familiar emotions. I gave it a harsh exterior, but only because I wanted to break down the assumptions you might have. I want to invite you to look past the big picture and dive into the details. We all look at the world through our own biases and our own filter. And with my work, I want to challenge that and hope that you allow yourself to see past your biases. We all have a bit of darkness inside of us all. We aren't always rainbows and sunshine. The human experience is beautiful because of the duality of being who we are, the yin and yang in all of us. We have to accept ourselves as a whole, love ourselves without reservation. No one is perfect, but it doesn't mean that you should be judgmental of what's inside you. As long as you're not harming yourself or anyone else, you are perfect just the way you are. There's no reason for you to try to fix something that you might think someone else doesn't like about you. You should always be conscious and considerate of others, but don't let others' expectations dictate how you are and who you are in life. Embrace yourself, embrace what you have inside of yourself, show the world who you are not everybody's gonna like it but that's fine that's what the world is about that's what life is about not everything is for everybody anyway i've rambled long enough but i hope you like what i've drawn and before i go i'm gonna leave you with a quote from julia cameron who wrote the artist way which says quote creativity like human life itself begins in darkness 
thank you all for watching this long and i hope you enjoyed the picture and my process and i hope that you've got something of value of my rambling i appreciate you watching this along and if you want to see anything else drawn or if you want me to tackle any sort of topic feel free to let me know in the comments and please you know darken the like button if you will and uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of my video i tried to use uh, pyrography for the first time so i'm making a video of how that turned out and uh, i'll let you know what i thought and if i'm gonna keep doing it so again thank you and i'll see you next week peace